Hello everyone, welcome to Infijan. In this very exciting video of factorial equations, we are going to solve today x minus 3 factorial equal to x cube minus x. We will see in this video the factorial, its basic notation, prime factor substitution and then we will conclude by verification. So let's get started by writing its domain basically where function is defined only. So x cannot be 2, x cannot be 1. That means x minus 3, it should be positive or 0 also. It cannot be negative. So that means x is greater than or equal to 3. x minus 3 is whole number, not x. Okay. So once x minus 3 is whole number, that means it, that value will start from 0. So x minus 3 equal to 0, so x is equal to 3. So first value of x which we can put in this equation that is 3. Now let's check on inequality means it is x greater than or equal to 3. So x is starting value is 3. Let's find out at 3 what is happening. So at x equal to 3, 3 minus 3 factorial is equal to 3 cube minus 3. So 0 factorial that is 1 which is not equal to 27 minus 3 means 24. So 1 is not equal to 24. So 3 is not solution of this equation. Okay. So in general, you can write x greater than 3 so far is domain of this equation. Now let's start solving by substitution. I will put x minus 3 equal to y. So x will be equal to y plus 3. So let's put x minus 3 equal to y. So equation will be y factorial is equal to y plus 3 whole cube minus y plus 3. Okay. Now take y plus 3 common out. So in bracket what is left? y plus 3 whole square minus 1. Now we know that the formula of a plus b whole square we can write here a square plus twice ab plus b square. Let's apply that formula in our equation. It will convert it into y plus 3 first bracket, second bracket would be y square plus 6y plus 9 minus 1. y plus 3 second bracket will give us x is y square plus 6y plus 8. 9 minus 1 is 8. Now open this. Take the product. y cube plus 6y square plus 8y plus 3y square plus 18y plus 24. Okay. Now simplify this one. y cube plus 6 plus 3 9y square plus 18 plus 8. So 26y plus 24. That is equal to y factorial. Now I will use recursive formula or the formula of recursion in factorial that is y factorial can be written as y into y minus 1 factorial. Okay. So I will use this recursion formula as per our problem. So let's take it. We will write y into y minus 1 factorial equal to y cube plus 9y square plus 26y plus 24. Now divide both sides by y. So equation will become y minus 1 factorial equal to y square plus 9y plus 26 
प्लस ट्वेंटी फोर ओवर वाई ओके नाउ द लॉजिक वॉट आई विल गिव यू दैट इज लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इज पॉजिटिव इंटीजर दिस टर्म यू विल सिंप्लीफाई यू विल गेट पॉजिटिव इंटीजर सो दिस ट्वेंटी फोर ओवर वाई इट शुड बी पॉजिटिव इंटीजर ऑल्सो so how it will be positive integer 24 over y y should be the common factor of 24 so i, I will find out prime factors of 24 so if you will write 1 2 3 4 6 7 8 9 10 11 24. Okay, one, two, three, four, six, eight, twelve, twenty-four. Now, if you will check, if your denominator means y is one, two, three, four, six, eight, twelve, twenty-four, then we will get twenty-four over y as a positive integer. As an integer, you can say positive. Obviously, it will come out. So. if you will check that values this is your let me write here y equal to 1 2 3 the possible candidates the possible values of y now i will write what was our assumption we presumed earlier that x minus 3 equal to y so if i will write from y the possible values of x then i can write yes x is equal to y plus 3 okay so add 3 to all of the possibilities of y so 4 5 6 7 9 11 15 and 27 these are the possibilities of x possible x now if you will check from first four and the last three i am not concluding our answer obviously left hand side see equation is x minus 3 factorial equal to x cube minus x let's put x equal to 4 see what will happen x is equal to 4 One factorial is equal to four into. I will write x cube minus x as x into x square minus one. So four into x square means sixteen minus one, so fifteen. One factorial is one. Four into fifteen sixteen. What I am trying to show you, up to up to seven, you will find out this value is lesser. Let me put. You have to find out. Values so five I I am putting then it will be two factorial then right side would be five into twenty five minus one so twenty four see it cannot be solution if you will put x equal to six six minus three three factorial that means six is equal to six into thirty six minus one so thirty five not possible x is equal to seven So you will write seven minus three factorial, so four factorial, which is twenty-four. So you will write seven into forty-eight. It is not possible. Okay. Once you will put nine, x is equal to nine. Then see left hand side will become nine minus three, so six factorial. Right side is nine into nine square minus one. So nine into eighty, which is equal to seven hundred twenty, and if you will check six factorial, so it is also seven hundred twenty. This is our solution. So x is equal to nine is our solution. What about eleven, fifteen, and twenty-four? If you will check that value also, x equal to eleven. Left hand side would be eleven minus three, so eight factorial equal to 
11 times 11 square 121 minus 1 so 120 11 times 120 and see the value of 8 factorial that is 40,320 so it cannot match and right side is somewhere around 1, 2 means near about 1,500 I am not going to put that value 1, 3, 2, 0 so that value will be somewhere around 1000, 1500. This left hand side would be 40,000. Once you will raise your value, next value will be 9 factorial. So that will be 6,62,880. So for higher values, that will be rejected case. So x is equal to 9 is our solution. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.